Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be changing the oil in my Honda S2000. Now whenever you're buying a used vehicle you can never be certain of when the last service was. So it's always a good idea to change the oil and start things fresh. Of course a huge thank you to Pennzoil for sponsoring this video and helping out with my S2000 project car. First it's a good idea to run the car outside for a bit. This ensures the oil is warmed up and makes draining it easier. Obviously you'll want to avoid touching anything hot once you do start working on the car. Second, we'll need to lift the car up onto jack stands. I've explained how to do this in a separate video. It's certainly not necessary to lift it onto all four jack stands as seen for just an oil change, but I'll be addressing other fluids while under the vehicle. Next we want to place a drain tub underneath the car and then remove the oil pan drain bolt to drain the engine oil. It can help to crack open the oil fill cap to help drain oil. Once the oil has finished draining, Move the drain tub underneath the oil filter and unscrew the oil filter. You may want to do this fairly slowly to allow the oil to drain out into the tub. When removing the oil filter, make sure the rubber gasket from the old filter does not remain on the engine. Rub a small amount of new oil onto the gasket of the new oil filter. Then screw the new oil filter on. After the rubber gasket seats, tighten the oil filter based on what the owner's manual recommends or what the oil filter recommends. In this case, Honda recommends a 7 8 turn of the filter after the gasket seats or 16 pound feet. Next, screw down the drain bolt replacing the 14 millimeter washer. Tighten the drain plug to 29 pound feet using a torque wrench and be sure not to over tighten as this is an aluminum drain pan and you could damage the threads. Be sure to clean off any oil that remains on the drain plug or oil filter. Pull the drain tub out from under the car and lower the car back down so that it's level. This is especially true when you've just lifted up the front end onto jack stands. Unscrew the oil fill cap and add the recommended type and quantity of oil. In this case 4.8 liters or 5.1 quarts of SAE 10W30. As you can see I'm using Pennzoil's Ultra Platinum which is an engine oil derived from natural gas. There are some pretty cool advantages to using natural gas but two that stand out to me are its properties of having a low viscosity at low temperatures, making it ideal for oil flow during cold starts and having a low volatility at high temperature making it less likely to burn off. Screw the oil cap back on and run the car for a few minutes in a well ventilated area. Check underneath the car to ensure there are no leaks. Shut the car off and address leaks as necessary. Check the oil fill level using the dipstick and make sure the oil fill level is just below or no higher than the top mark of the dipstick. Add oil if necessary. Finally, dispose of the old oil properly. Many auto parts stores will recycle it or you can take it to a local hazardous waste disposal area for recycling. And that's all there is to it. Be sure to check out my other videos about engine oil such as the advantages of synthetic oil, the logic behind using natural gas for deriving a base oil, or look inside Ferrari's Formula One trackside fuel and oil lab. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.